I hope that you'll enjoy this. This is a video for CoinKeeper and also my March pickups. Got some images of Galapoli from postage stamps uh, because Galapoli handled, happened 100 years ago and it was the start really of the Australian nation as we know it and the end of the Ottoman Empire as we know it. Here's a couple images that I know CoinKeeper will probably love. It happened right there in Turkey, modern day Turkey. Hello, this is Del Rebbe PM. And uh, this is uh, both an update of my pickups recently and a shout out to Coin Roll Keeper. <coughs> and something cool, I got this from my, my um, bank this week. If you take a look, it's covering a Islamic uh, coin from the Umayyad Caliphate. Very cool. And they have a different one featured every every month, so I'll go through the months and show you. I'll have to make up the January and February next time. But uh, this is a copper one, and uh, very cool. You can see the desert patina on it. These coins they selected came from the Islamic Museum here in Doha, Gutter. So, very cool. Speaking of history, uh, there's a very cool contest going on by Coin Roll Keeper, who both is a numismatic coin collector, as well as a gold and silver stacker. And a lover of history. So, I want you to check out her, her um, site if you can. She's got a contest giving away some gold as well. Now, the reason I bring her up also is because there's a historic tie to the coins that I have to show you today. The first one is a coin from the City Mint. It is a sovereign and it's from the City Mint. And I, I couldn't figure out why I couldn't find it. Uh, in Numista because it's got the shielded um, obverse and the reason I couldn't find it is because it was city mint so it was under Australia instead of Great Britain which doesn't make sense really because Australia didn't exist back then um, and then the next one next to it is an older uh, with the uh, St. George background uh, veiled Queen Victoria and this one is from the turn of the century. And at the turn of the century, uh, the British Empire was waning, but they were fighting 100 years ago today in Gallipoli, uh, a peninsula jutting out from Asia Minor, and what is now Turkey, but at that time was part of the Ottoman Empire. And this is a Kirsch, a, I think it's a hundred Kirsch, I'm not sure. Um, but this is from the Ottoman Empire. And 100 years ago to about this time, there were the first dogfights, the very first time they put Gatling guns onto the fighter planes. So, very good chance that the pilots on the Sopwath Camels, who probably were Australian, were battling over the skies for the first time having dogfights with members of the Ottoman Empire who were uh, flying uh, Fock uh, aircraft provided by Germany. Um, so, anyway, um, the history is pretty cool because. Gallipoli, it, it was really a stalemate or a draw, but it, 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 it signaled the, the, the waning or the end of the Ottoman Empire. And because of the fighting together in the trenches, the ANZ forces, Australia New Zealand, uh, many people attribute that battle as being what drove them to, to becoming an independent nation um, at, at the end of World War I. So, so interesting, and I, I thought of that when I was trying to find the coin in Umista. The other kind of piece of history that we have is right now we're almost regularizing our our um, relationship with Cuba now. So I picked up a, a small gold Cuban coin as well, um, which is very cool. And now we might be able to start seeing some Cuban cigars and some Cuban uh, coinage hitting the U.S. now. And the next, my next pickup, I've got a Portuguese, I believe it's a King Alfonso. I can't get enough of these. And here's the obverse, very continental in design. You know, all the um, British coins, uh, the Spanish coins, the Italian coins, even some of the Greek coins from the 1800s, they had their version of the these um, shields in the back. Uh, even the Austro-Hungarian Empire, the Meiger coins, the Austrian coins. The next coin is a um, Abbasid Caliphate um, dinar silver. I don't know if it's upside down or not. It's from about 809 AD or 193 in the Hajari calendar. Let's see if we can take a look at the back of it. 
have no idea what's the top or the bottom. Then last but not least, another 50 franc um, from France. And can never get enough of these. They're nice and big and chunky. About the same size as an American uh, silver dollar or a British um, um, crown. So that's it. Those are the pickups. Please check out the channel from Coin Keeper. And good luck and happy hunting. This is Del Rugby PM.